So my nails are already prepped and ready to go. I did the two ends because they're just with clear acrylic and you've seen me do that a lot. So for this set, I did use the regular nail tips and I will list and link everything that I use in the description box as always. So I'm basically just going to measure them and apply them to my natural nail. And I do just cut them with regular nail clippers. Uh, I'm just going to warn you right now that I am... I was very rusty when I did this set. <laughs> I haven't had my nails on for about a month now because I was filming all the Halloween videos and this is the first set that I did in a month and I was very, very rusty, but um, it did come together at the end. And after I cut them, I do like to kind of file them and shape them a little bit before I apply the acrylic because it's a little bit easier. I'm not cutting the actual nail tip because I don't want them as thin as I, as skinny as I usually do. I wanted them a little bit fatter this time, so I'm just filing them just a little bit. And I'm still using the same nail drill that I've been using since the beginning, really. And, um... It comes with a set and all I'm doing now is I'm just going to make sure there's no um, shiny stuff from the glue and I'm also going to kind of just blend in, sand down and blend in the nail tip to my natural nail just a little bit and mainly the edges of the nail tips just so they're not sticking up. So I do use the Mia Secret for both the monomer and the clear acrylic powder. I use this a powder for everything. Um, I'm using those two things. This is not sponsored, by the way. And for the olive greenish tone acrylic, it, I made it myself. I've seen this on seen this on Instagram. Somebody um, use this with the chalk, make their own colors with chalk. And I had chalk, so I was like, okay, I want to try this because I didn't have an olive nail polish or acrylic powder. And it worked really well, actually. Um, so I'm going to be taking a blue chalk and a yellow chalk to make the color that I want. So first I'm going to take the e-file with the brown sander, and you cannot see what I'm doing here. <laughs> but I'm just kind of sanding down the blue a little bit. I just want a little bit of blue, and then I'm going to take the yellow and do the exact same things but I'm adding pretty much double the amount of blue with the yellow. So I want more yellow than blue. And then what you do is just start kind of grinding it down until it's really, really fine. You want it to be really, really thin powder, no like chunks in it. So you kind of want to do this a lot. I did try it in the beginning once, but I didn't do it enough. And you can still see like a little bit of like little chunks of, of chalk. So you don't want that. So you just want to make sure to sand it down a lot till it's really, really fine. And then... Also, you're going to take a clear acrylic powder and you're going to put a lot in, you're going to mix a lot into the chalk. Uh, again, I did try it first and I didn't put enough acrylic powder and it came out really kind of patchy and it just didn't look good. So I added about a full, probably a full spoonful and I think it even added a little bit extra after that. I don't think, I think you just want it to be a lot of a clear acrylic powder and then again mix it really really well I mean really well just keep mixing for a while and then it turns out exactly like acrylic powder like it works perfect <laughs> um, after I put the primer on my nails I'm gonna go in with the olive greenish color acrylic that I made and I'm gonna put that on my index finger and my middle finger I just decided just to do it on those two and this is kind of where I started struggling a little bit I kind of forgot how to do it I was out of my groove I guess because it's been so long um 
I wasn't putting enough liquid on my brush and I wasn't picking up enough acrylic. But yeah, so they ended up coming out really, I, I know if you guys have watched my other nail videos, I really like my nails really thin. And these things, oh, these little guys came out really, really thick. I mean, all of the nails I did pretty much came out really thick. So I had to do a lot of sanding. But yeah, so I just applied the acrylic to the two nails first. And what usually has been working for me is I like to kind of build up my acrylic. So I'll add a little bit and then just keep building it up till how I like it, which I'm trying to start, um, how do I say? Like I'm trying to start doing it like everybody else where it's just like a one, two bead system and done instead of gradually building it up. So I've been trying to just do two beads instead of like three. I've Put one right where the nail tip starts to my natural nail and I'll work its way down and then I'll add the other one to around my the top of my natural nail around my cuticle area so I kind of just like to stick with two and then if I need any more I usually need some more where the cuticle area is so I'll add a little bit more there and then just pull it down um, so I'm not as advanced to just kind of put a big chunk of acrylic on and just let it work its way down all perfect. I'm not there yet, but maybe we'll get there soon. So then for my ring finger, I wanted it to be uh, like a bronze glittery color and I didn't have that in a nail polish. So I thought I'm going to do the exact same thing. I just got a bronze glitter and added a bunch of it to a clear acrylic powder and just mixed it in with the powder and did it like that because I didn't have the color that I wanted for my nails so and it worked out really really well so um yeah I just mixed the glitter in with the clear acrylic and I applied that to my ring finger Okay, so I was not sure if I should do this part, like encapsulate all the nails. I wasn't sure if, with a clear acrylic powder, not sure if I was supposed to do this, but I decided to do it for the glitter nail just in case. Like I didn't want to file off any of the glitter, either, even though it didn't look like I was going to because it's not, it was kind of mixed into the acrylic. But I just did it anyways and they came out super thick. <laughs> um, and then I ended up doing it over the colored acrylic too again not sure if I was supposed to do this but I did it just in case because I didn't want to mess them up if I was supposed to do it so yeah I just I mean I figured it wouldn't hurt anyway so I just went ahead and went over with a clear acrylic and they were super thick and I was at this point a little worried because they were looking they were, they were looking crazy so I went in with a file and started kind of shaping them a little bit and kind of hoped that it would all come together in the end. And the file that I'm using is 100 and 180 grit on the other side. I think I'm using the 180 grit. And they're pretty, the nail file that I was using was pretty worn out, so I really had to put some muscle into it. So then after the I filed them to a shape that I was okay with, I went in with this little, I don't know what this little guy is called right here, but he's kind of pointy. And I just went in around my cuticle just to make sure nothing was stuck to my cuticle just because I had put such a large amount of acrylic and I don't want any acrylic stuck to around my cuticle area because I don't want any lifting. Three hours later. So I did go ahead and because I was getting a little worried because they were 
thick and I wasn't sure if they were going to, I could get it to the shape that I wanted it and as thin as I wanted it. So I did go ahead and stop the camera and work on my ring finger to see if it was, if this was going to come out good or not. And it did. I just had to do a lot of sanding with the e-file. So I started with this little, I don't know what these called, these little drill bits. I don't know what they're called. But I just started with this one and I go around my cuticle area just to make sure that that is nice and round and flat. And then I flip it to the side and kind of go back and forth motions all over. And then after I used this one for a decent amount of time, after I used that one, I switched the little um, file part. I switched it to one of the brown ones because I just feel like I'm a lot more comfortable with that one. So I really went in with that brown file, <laughs> that brown sander. I really kind of went back and forth a lot to get it to the thinness that I wanted it at, which you will see me switch it out in a second. So I basically did that to both the nails and it's so weird because you would think like my right hand would be harder, but the last two times that I did my nails, it seems like my right hand has came out better than my left for some reason. I'm I'm not sure, but yeah. I really went in with this brown sander just to make sure it was as thin as I, I like my nails. But overall, I really like this chalk method just because I'm not going to go out and buy a bunch of different acrylic powders, especially if I'm just going to use it once or twice, like in a year or something. And if you buy a set of chalks, you can make any color you want. You can mix any color you want. And I don't know, I just thought it was really cool and it worked really, really well. Okay, so after when I moved on to polish, the polishes that I'm going to use are this Beatles um, gel polish. This is one of the ones from the set that I showed you guys in, I don't know, it was like a couple of videos back. Um, it was like a fall one. It comes in like a set of six or eight or something like that. So I'm using one of the oranges from that color and then I'm using a matte top coat and I'm also going to use a clear top coat. Now... This orange, these colors are so beautiful from this set and they are super affordable. But I tried them on my natural nails and I couldn't, I don't know, they just didn't look right on my natural nails. So not sure what was up with that. I just tried once and it just looked like they were separating. The color was separating and I even tried it with a base coat. So I'm not sure what that, but they work pretty well on acrylics. I guess it's like kind of like you get what you pay for. And I find that they work a lot better with the matte top coat. I'm not sure if it's because it's the same brand or something. I'm, I'm not sure, but they work well for the price. So I'm going to apply the matte top coat, which I really like this top coat, um, on basically all of them except the glitter. And then I'm going to use the clear on the glitter nail. I did try it with a matte top coat and it just it didn't look right so I took it off and I used a clear over it. Now the clear I really really love this brand of clear and I do know now that they have a set with it comes with a base coat and a clear coat but they do have a set now and it's super affordable with a matte top coat. I haven't tried that matte top coat but I really like their clear. So I kind of just um, cured them in between and yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.